<laughs> so these three stretches can help anyone 50 or older feel mobile, keep moving, and being functional throughout your life. That's right. Let's get it all going here. Number one, we'll work the ankles. We're simply going to work pulling the feet back, doing ankle pumps, and then down. And then back and down. Do 10 of those. The next thing we're going to go into is a little more aggressive stretch for the ankles to prevent foot drop. And that's a common thing as we age. Simply bring your leg over like this. If you have this flexibility, grab those toes or the forefoot and pull up and feel that stretch right here. Now you can hold this for five seconds. If you want to go longer, 10 to 15 is great. Even longer if you want, but that's getting a long time. You can begin with a book on the floor first. You can be up next to a wall. To mimic the ankle pumps, you're simply going to go up on your toes and then back down on your heels. Like Brad said, make sure to do 10 repetitions. Slow and controlled, obviously. Obviously, you have your body weight above you, so it's going to be more challenging. Now, to mimic the figure four stretch he was doing, all you have to do is leave your feet on here and then lean forward. You can do this for 20 or 30 seconds, and you will feel a good calf stretch as well. Now, Mike, Mike, just late, let me add the book section. We're using that to simply dorsiflex and get more stretch in the calf muscle. If you already feel a stretch without the book, you can do that. If the book isn't enough, simply get two books or a thicker book or do what Mike is going to suggest next. So you can just perform this on your stairs. You can hold on for support if needed. You certainly don't have to. Going through this full range of motion with this ankle pumps is really going to work those calf muscles. You may not feel it right away, but the next day you might be a little sore. So just stick to one set of 10 to begin. You're going to reach down to the floor, stretch the back. I actually like to put my fingertips here and stretch if you can reach the floor. Some people are not that flexible. Then go up. And we're going to stretch back and do that wonderful stretch. Bob calls it the hallelujah stretch. Builder talks about <laughs> praising the sky. Go back down. Now, as you do this and repeat, and then you're not getting dizzy, remember that's critical. We're going to come back up and breathe in. In through your nose, and then exhale out your mouth going down. Simply go out, open, and close those fingers. Get it wide as you can. Don't make a real tight fist, just enough to touch the palms and open and close. Five to ten repetition. Just go on to the wrist, Mike. So for the wrist to begin, you can keep a light fist and just do little circles like you're stirring a pot of whatever you're making, soup maybe. And then you're going to go the opposite direction as well. Do ten repetitions each way. 